Hello and welcome back to the Amazing Dinosaurs channel. Today I am showing you all of my Godzilla figures from the largest to the smallest. And I've even got some brand new ones over here. Let's go ahead and check out the brand new ones. Let's start it off with this Godzilla versus Space Godzilla figure. And let's open it up, see what it is. All right, there it is. It's a very classic looking one. This is awesome. Let's open it up and see what the figure's like. All right, so here we've got the Godzilla from the Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla movie. I've got the tail here too. Let's see if we can put it in. Usually these are really hard to get in. So let's see if I can do it. All right, finally got that tail on there. I actually hurt myself a little bit trying to do it, so you have to be careful when putting on these tails. But let's check out this Godzilla. Let's check out these spikes right here. It's got those three rows that go all the way down the tail. And this Godzilla is quite movable. You can see that you can twist the wrists, you can twist the arms, move them up and down, and even the head and neck you can move around too. I think this would be a really cool Godzilla for a stop motion movie. All right, next up, let's go for the big box. This is Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Let's see what's inside. All right, another Fire Godzilla. These ones are my favorite. I love the fire design on these. And if you've been watching our other videos, you know that we have one Fire Godzilla already. So I'm super excited to add this one to my Fire Godzilla collection. Look at those spikes. Look at, it's like its whole spikes is made out of fire. And it comes with these little accessories too. Whoops. So the first one we've got here looks like an explosion of when the laser hits. And this laser here, you can actually attach to the fire Godzilla to make him look like he's spitting fire. Let's see if we can get that in his mouth. All right, there we go. He's now shooting fire, look at that. And then right there, bam, there's the explosion. Wow, that's really cool. This would be a really cool model to have on a shelf and just set up like this. This is a really cool pose. These fire Godzillas are my favorite for sure. All right, we've still got a few more brand new in here. Let's see which one this is. This is the Great Destroyer, the nemesis of Godzilla. And check out these wings. They can open and close. That is so cool. I don't have that many other figures that can do that. That is super neat. And look at the detail on its face. Look at those gnarly claws and the detail on its chest, on its feet, and all over its body. I really love these wings that you can open and close them. I see another brand new Godzilla figure in here. Let's open this up. It's like a, a ball shape. Let's see what it, what it is. All right, so this looks to be a Mecha Godzilla, and it's kind of like a Godzilla egg. I think that's what it's actually called. So let's open it up and see what the figure looks like opened up. Here we go, ready? There he is in the full form, Mecha Godzilla that can roll up into a ball. That's pretty cool. I don't have another figure that actually does this. So this is pretty cool to add to my collection. You will be destroyed. All right, moving on. Here is my biggest Godzilla figure. This one is so awesome and it's probably one of my most expensive Godzilla figures too. But look at the detail on the skin, all those bumps. Look at these spikes. They're super tough, they don't bend much. And the length of this tail, the tail on its own is probably like a foot long. It's crazy. And the arms and legs move. And look at that face right there. It's got the teeth, the tongue is colored, and it's got those mean looking eyes too. 
Over here, we've got my largest Mecha Godzilla figure. This figure stands at about a foot high, and just like the other Godzilla figure, the tail on its own is probably a foot long. And look at those spikes on the end, just like in the movie. You can move its legs, you can move its arms, and its claws open and close. Better watch out or he'll grab you. And of course, you've got the awesome red spikes on its back. And I think you can see a little bit of its, uh, what are those jetpacks from the movie, I think? This is a really cool figure. Locked on target. Over here, we've got another giant Godzilla, but this one is blue. <laughs> and it's got these gold claws on both hands and even on the feet too. And this figure is pretty movable. You can twist the tail, you can move the legs and arms, and look at that face too. You can see its teeth, its eyes, its tongue, all that. Really neat. Right over here, I know you've been keeping your eye on this one. This is the Gold Godzilla. Look how shiny it is all over, gold everywhere. And the legs and arms move just like the other figures. And look at that face. It doesn't have a red eyes or anything like that, but I still think it looks quite sinister. Check out this other Godzilla figurine. This one is also huge. It's got the black bottom and sides and the shiny blue spikes on the top. That is really the only big color on this Godzilla figure, so the spikes really stand out. And the eyes, too. Look at those glowing red eyes. And you can move its arms and its legs and its tail, just like the other Godzilla figures. You better watch out. Look at this. We've got another nemesis of Godzilla. This is the Gigan figure. Check out these giant claws on its hands and spikes all over its body. This is one dangerous war machine. And I love these wings on the back. The three wings, they've also got the spikes on them too. And most importantly, the spikes on the tail. Look at the size of those. Right up front here, we've got another Fire Godzilla figure, but this one's a bit more uh, classic looking. It's not red all over like that other Fire Godzilla figure we saw. It's just got those red marks on its chest, on its belly, and on its legs too. All right, let's keep going. We've got so many more Godzilla figures. This is the Godzilla Ultima figure. Check this out. This one is massive. Look at the length of that tail and look at the size of those legs too. That is huge. And the face on this Godzilla is different, a lot different from the other Godzillas. Look at those huge fangs right up front right there. That is so cool. <laughs> Over here, we've got another giant Godzilla figure. This one is black on the sides, the front, but it's got those giant purple spikes. And look at that tail, too. Did you know that Godzilla actually has a real life dinosaur named after it? That is so cool. Ooh, look right over here. We've got another Mecha Godzilla figure. This one's smaller than the first one I showed you. But look at that detail on this one still. It's got those red spikes on the back. And look at all the machinery and like, it's super shiny. This one is really cool. I loved watching the fight against Mechagodzilla in the Godzilla vs. Kong movie. Next up, we've got another nemesis of Godzilla. It is the Great Rodan with these massive wings. And he's got that armor on his chest and legs. Look at that beak and that face. <laughs> I like Rodan because he has a distinct advantage over Godzilla. He can fly in the air. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. 
Here we've got another medium sized Godzilla. This is the black one with the blue spikes on top. And these ones are kind of see through like that. That's really cool. This Godzilla has the battle damage. You can see right here. Oops, it just fell off. And it is in a pose where it's roaring into the air. Look at that. Here we've got another medium sized Godzilla. This looks a lot like the Godzilla that I just showed you, but its face is not pointed upwards, it's pointed forwards. So this is a much more usable action figure if you wanna play with them. And the tail moves as well. And check it out, even this Godzilla has the battle damage. Check this out, we've got another figure from the Godzilla movies. This is the Anguirus figure. <laughs> Look at all those spikes on its top, facing forward, and it's got the spikes right in front of its head right there, and the one horn on its nose. This one walks on all fours. <laughs> all right, here we go, I think this is maybe another fire godzilla because it's got that glowing red on its body and a really long tail but i think this is a uh, younger form of godzilla because you can see it's not the adult form of godzilla but this is still a really awesome figure oh i see another mecha godzilla figure look at this one this is the most decked out Mecha Godzilla figure that I have. Look at all these rockets, and it's got the jetpacks on the back. It's got the weapons on its arm right there. This one is so cool, and I think it's even more detailed than some of the other Mecha Godzilla figures that I have. Look at that. You can even see the wires on its legs, too. The other ones do not have that. But I love these rockets right there. We've still got a lot more in here. Here is another black and blue Godzilla. Shiny blue spikes on top and the black body. Did you know that Godzilla actually fought the Avengers? In a comic book series in the 70s, he faced off with both the Avengers and the Fantastic Four. And here are my favorite Godzilla figures because they're so detailed and they're so movable. Look at this one, the spikes. Look at the attention to detail all over that and on its body as well, the skin. It's so detailed and it's so movable. Look at that tail. It has so many points of articulation. And I've got another one just like it. I haven't put the tail on this one yet, but look at that. This one is the blue Godzilla. Again, look at those spikes with the coloring. It's so shiny, and even on its legs and on its face too. You can move this Godzilla in any direction. This is so cool. Oh, you better watch out. Here is another Mecha Godzilla figure. This one's darker than the other ones we have, but it still looks pretty metallic. And with this Mecha Godzilla, you can actually open and shut its mouth too, which I really like. And the arms are really movable, which is really cool for playing with them. And once again, look at those glowing red spikes on its back. And the spike at the very end as well. Here is another one of my favorite monsters from the Godzilla series. This is the Mothra, and this is in the larva form. But we also have Mothra in the adult form here. We've got a large Mothra right here. Look at the detail on its wings, and it's got those awesome blue eyes. And we've even got a smaller Mothra figure right here too and it still has that beautiful coloring on both its wings. And we've already seen a few of the younger forms of Godzilla, but we've got some more right here. This is the third form of Godzilla. The arms are not quite developed yet, 
but it's got the spikes and the super long tail. And right here, we've got the second form of Godzilla. Look at those red gills, and you can see the arms even a little bit less. It's not quite fully developed yet. Let's keep digging. We've got a medium-sized black and purple Godzilla. And that face looks really mean. And over here, I think this is another fire Godzilla. Check that out. It's got the orange on its chest, belly, and legs, and the orange spikes. Did you know that Godzilla actually has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame? <laughs> Check this out. This is my number one favorite Godzilla figure. This is the Fire Godzilla. And we did already open up a brand new Fire Godzilla that's pretty similar to this one. But on this one, the tail moves, the arms and legs move as well. And look at that face too. This figure is so awesome. <laughs> We've got some awesome smaller Godzilla figures too. I actually have two tiny little space Godzillas. Look at the spikes on those shoulders and look at those gold crowns on their heads. And we've got a few more fire Godzillas, or I think these are fire Godzillas. Once again, with the orange and yellow and the red on its chest and the glowing red spikes too. Those are so cool. Oh, look at this over here. We've got an itty bitty tiny Mecha Godzilla, and look at those rockets on its shoulders too and on its arms. That is so cool. Right here, we've got one of the coolest enemies of Godzilla. This is Ghidorah the three-headed dragon. This is so cool. Its whole body is gold. It has those giant wings and the two tails as well. All right, we've got a few more tiny Godzillas in here. Let's check them out. We've got this gray Godzilla, a bit more classic looking with the white spikes on its back. We've got this purple spiked Godzilla. This one's really cool. I like this one. And then we've got all these awesome Godzilla figures right here. Some of them have the blue spikes. Some of them have like a dark purple spikes too. And our final two figures in the bin. We've got this miniature Rodan figure with the awesome wings and those golden claws. And then our final Godzilla figure with the blue spikes and it's got those blue claws on its hand as well. This is a really cool figure. Welcome back everyone. I'm super excited to get started with you today. Today we are unboxing from my collection all of my King Kong and Godzilla figurines. Let's get started with this Mecha Godzilla figure right here. This one's ginormous. With the tail, it might be two feet long in total. This is really cool. It's got the opening and closing claws in the front, movable arms, movable legs, the tail swivels, and the face is just awesome too. Look at that. Look at those eyes. That's so cool. Next up, we got this ginormous King Kong figure right here. The arms go up and down. Even the wrists are adjustable. His jaw opens and closes just a little bit. But one of the coolest features is it's got this swiveling action that you can set him up like this. And if you want him to punch, other figurines. Wham, 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 wham. So this one is about a foot tall as well. So this is one of my largest King Kong and Godzilla 
figurines as well. All right, moving on to the ginormous Godzilla right over here. This is the biggest Godzilla figurine that I have in my collection. And look at it. Standing up, I'd say it's probably around a foot high, but look how big its body is and then its tail. It might even go maybe two or three feet as well. I really like using this Godzilla figurine in our battles because it's so big and so scary looking. <coughs> All right, moving on. We've got another King Kong figure right here. A little bit smaller than the last one, but check it out. You can see it's got some battle damage. It doesn't require any batteries or anything like that. So it doesn't make any noise, but this one's still pretty large as well. Look how big that is. All right, let's take a look at this blue Godzilla right here. It looks a little bit uh, like a old school classic Godzilla, but look at this blue finish that it has all over. And the gold tipped claws right there too. Look at that face, got the red eyes. You can see the tongue and the teeth right there. And of course, the spikes on its back. And these ones for this figure are blue, like the rest of its body. This one is one of my favorite Godzilla figurines right here. Check out the coloring on this and like the flexibility with its tail. This one is super dynamic with how you can move it. And even with its face, check it out. But the reason that I like this one is because it's fire. Look at that. It's ferocious. It's got like the spikes, but they're like flaming spikes. So this one is really cool. One of my favorites. Next up is this figurine from the Godzilla series. And this is the Angiris figurine from the Godzilla Final Wars collection. Look at all these spikes on its back. And interestingly, they're all kind of like facing forward. Do you see that? We've got the long tail here with the spikes at the end. And check out that face. That is a mean looking face. And it's got those horns on the top of its head also facing forward as well. That's very interesting. And here we've got a smaller King Kong figure. And this one does have sound effects in it. See this button in the back right here? Let's go ahead and press that and see what happens. It's making that snarling face. And it's got movable arms, movable legs, and all that. Which one should we pull out next? Let's try this Godzilla right here. Another large Godzilla action figure. This time it's got the purple spikes on its back, the three ridges, the three lines going down its back, movable legs, movable arms, and even the tail swivels as well. This is a pretty lightweight figurine though. You can tell that it's hollow on the inside and you can actually see that it's kind of squished. I'm not sure why that is, but it is hollow. We've got another large Godzilla figurine right here. Very similar to the last purple one, but instead this figurine is blue. So it's got the blue spikes on its back, the three lines of spikes. The tail moves just like the other one, the legs and the arms. And look at that face. It's got those red eyes too. Oh my goodness, we have so many Godzilla figurines in here. Look at this other one. This is another one of those super adjustable figures. Look at how its tail moves and its arms has a lot of points of articulation and its legs. Check out that face right there. Now look at the painting on those spikes and even on the rest of its body. You can tell it's super textured. It looks very realistic, which I really like. Now look what we have here. Another Godzilla figurine. Oh, a Mecha Godzilla. But it's like a miniature version. It's like a model. So it's got that huge head and the little body and tail. And none of the parts move on this one. So this is more of a collectible, but still looks very cool. I think I'll end up putting this one on my shelf. 
right, I see a gold one down here. I think this is another one of the big Godzilla figurines. Yeah, so this one's around the same size as the blue and purple one. But instead, as you can see, it is gold all over the body and on the spikes and the tail. Everywhere has that gold coloring on it. And it's like, see with the texture, it's like mixing with black, which is really cool. What's this one over here? Let's see. Oh, look at this. This is a King Kong figure. It's got the longer arms than what the other figures had. And its face is even meaner than the other figures we've seen so far. Look at that. Let's dig in here and pull out another Godzilla. This is another one of those Godzilla figurines that's like super detailed. Look at that blue and there's like a little bit of white as the highlight. And I just love these figures. You can even move its neck around so you can turn its head, you can move its arms, you can swivel them. All right, here it is. So I believe that this is the atomic breath attachment for this dinosaur. So what you can do is actually open its mouth and then fit it right in its mouth and it'll stay there. So if you're doing like a stop motion video or taking pictures with them, it'll look like he's shooting the atomic breath out from him. Very neat. Next up, we've got this Godzilla figurine with a super long tail. And this one is from the 2016 Shin Godzilla movie. So let's see, we've got, it's like glowing red chest and that same glowing red along its back with the spikes. It's got a mean looking face. And then the glowing red at the end of the tail as well. Look how long that tail is. That's like longer than the body of Godzilla. All right, let's see what else we've got. Oh, look at this one. So this is a Godzilla, but this is the third form Godzilla. So you can see We've got its legs starting to stick out there. It's still got the spiked back, the three rows, and it's got a fully functional mouth and eyes, but the arms have not quite come through yet. And again, even with this one too, look at the length of that tail. That's probably longer than the length of the body. Very cool. And here we've got a smaller King Kong figure. And you can see on the chest, just like some of the other ones, it's got the battle damage, the three stripes from getting slashed by Godzilla or a dinosaur, and it swivels on its waist and its arms. And uh, there's no batteries for this one either. So there's no sounds or lights or anything on this one, but it's still a cooler King Kong figure to have. It's about, I don't know, maybe six inches tall. All right, let's keep digging. Ooh, you know what? I see another Mechagodzilla figurine right here. It's about six inches tall and it's got a lot going on. I believe these are rockets on its shoulders and there's just like so much gear it looks like all over its body. And this does have a metallic shine on it as well, even though it's made of plastic. Uh, it looks fairly close to metal. And I believe this version of Mechagodzilla is from the 2002 movie called Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla. But uh, let me know in the comments below if you've seen this one in another movie too. Let's keep digging. Let's see what we find here. Oh, here is a very large King Kong figure. You can see some battle damage on its chest. It's got this chain wrapped around its hand. It doesn't move, but it's there all the time. You can move the arm up and down. And this one doesn't require batteries either. So there's no sound effects or lights but it swivels, its arms moves up and down. And this one stands at about maybe a foot tall as well. So it's very comparable to some of the other King Kong figures that we have. And here is another King Kong figure, a bit smaller. Look at that. It's got this like white snow finish all over it. So I think this is the Arctic Kong figurine. You can tell that he's been working and fighting in the snow. This figure is a bit smaller than some of our other King Kong figures, but I must admit, 
I do like this one a bit more because it is so adjustable with its arms and legs. You can do almost any pose with this figure, which I think is super cool. All right, we've still got a lot more in here. Let's keep going. Ooh, check out this Gigan figurine from the Godzilla series. And this one is pretty colorful. You've probably noticed that with a lot of our Godzilla figurines, a lot of them are like darker colors. So I definitely appreciate that this figure from the Godzilla series has this bright red on the back. So this one really pops. Let's look at its face. It's got this massive horn on the top and then even right next to its mouth on the sides, you can see it's got those horns there. So this one I'm sure would be very lethal to battle against. Look at those. And now we've got a smaller Godzilla figurine, very similar to the other ones we've had, but it's got the black body and then the very shiny blue spikes on its back. This one's jaw doesn't open and close, but the arms and legs are movable too. So this one's still pretty usable and versatile. And look here, we've got another similar Godzilla figurine, but look at the spikes on the back. In this one, they're like kind of uh, see-through. You can see my finger on the other side, but there's still like a cool blue hue to them. And on this one, the jaw does open and shut as well. Look at that. See that? Look at that, attention to detail right there. And the tail swivels too. Let's keep going. Next one is this Godzilla figurine here, which I believe is the second form Godzilla. So check it out. You can see its arms are starting to form on its side right there, but it's already got the spikes on the top. It's got the red in the front and its mouth and head is pretty close to fully formed as well. So this is a pretty cool one to uh, have in my collection. Let's see. Ooh, we've got another smaller King Kong figure right here. But unlike the other one that had the snow on the top, this one's got, I think that's the atomic breath coloring on its arms and a little bit on its side too. You can see a little bit of blue. Ooh, and a little bit of blue on its chin too. So just like the other smaller Kong figure that we saw, the arms and legs are very adjustable, which I really like. All right, here we've got another Godzilla figurine and check out the fiery coloring on its chest, on its legs, and look at that on its spikes on its back. I like how it fades into the fiery orange color. Look at that mean look on his face. His head swivels back and forth. The arms are moving, the tail spins. And this is a, you know, a medium sized figure I'd say. But I do love that fire coloring on its body. And here we've got a smaller Godzilla figurine. And once again, we've got the black body, but a different colored spikes. We've had blue, we've seen some, I think we had some red ones and some orange ones. This one is purple, check that out. And these spikes are huge too. That's probably like two or three inches on its back. And as usual, tail moves, the legs move, the arms move, but on this one, the head doesn't move. So it's looking just straight forward. And look at those eyes on it too. See that little blue dot in its eyes. I see right here, is another smaller King Kong figurine. And once again, check out the movability on its arms and its legs. And like the other ones I forgot to mention earlier, but these do have this battle damage right on its shoulder. So when you take it off, you can see the red underneath as if he's wounded. So you can take that on and off while you're playing with a toy. And for this one, we've got the battle ax ready in hand for a fight. Check out that battle ax. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we've got. Oh, look at here. This is the Mothra larva from the Tokyo SOS movie. And look at that. You can even twist its neck side to side like that. And I believe we actually have 
the Mothra adult figure right here as well from the same movie. Look at the coloring on its wings too. And it's got that little itty bitty face and arms. But yeah, these wings are ginormous. Very neat. All right, we're just about done with this bin. I can see this other Godzilla figurine. Look at this, it's got the orange coloring in the front and it's got the orange on the spikes as well. The head swivels, the legs move, the arms move. And this is another like, I'd say medium sized Godzilla figurine right here. That is awesome. All right, look at this one. This is the Rodan figurine from the Godzilla series. And look at the wingspan on this. And it's got the yellow body. And you can tell that that's like armor plating on it right there. So this one's pretty protected. It's got the beak. And I think those are horns on it as well. Tell me in the comments below, do you remember in what movie Rodan fought Godzilla? Comment below and let me know. All right, we're just about done. We've got a lot of little figurines in here. Let's go through them really quickly. So we've got a bunch of small Godzillas right here. You can see this one's blue with black. See this one's like mostly black. Check out this one here. It's got the blue spikes. Oh, and look at this one. We saw this version of Godzilla a little bit earlier. Do you remember that orange coloring? We've got this other smaller Godzilla. Check this one out. This is a miniature Mecha Godzilla, and look at those rockets on its shoulders too. That is intimidating. That is it for today's video. Thanks so much for joining. Mm -hmm. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.
Welcome back to the Amazing Dinosaurs channel. Today, we are checking out my huge collection of Godzilla and King Kong toys. And I've even got some new ones that we're gonna unbox today. Let's go ahead and get started with this supercharged Godzilla. Oh, you can see I've already opened it up a little bit. Let's go ahead and get this out. Let's grab that tail. Oh, and there's a little bit of a uh, battle damage piece right there. Let's grab that too. And look at that. It even came with this teeny tiny little airplane. Oh man, this tail is really hard to get on. I might have to put this on later. It's really not going in there. But we can put on the battle damage right here. So let's go ahead and put that on. All right, let's check them out. So he's got the blue glowing spikes on the top. Look at that face right there. In this, in this toy, his face is kind of pointed upwards as if he's roaring like that. That's pretty cool. Let's check out our other new Godzilla toys. Let's go ahead and open this one up. Oh, look at that. It's a King Kong action figure. All right, check this out. So we've got our figure right here, but look at all those extra pieces that it comes with. It's got an extra face. It's got a bunch of different hands so you can change uh, whether he's holding his ax or whatever you want him to do. First, let's look at the figure here. So this is a very movable figure. Wow, this King Kong would be perfect for a stop motion video, don't you think? Look at that, you can move anything. And let's go ahead and swap out that face too to see how that looks. All right, here we go. Here is King Kong with his angry face, look at that. This is pretty neat. It is a small King Kong, but I do really like how adjustable it is. That is really cool. Here is another new Godzilla toy. Look at this. This is the Godzilla versus Kong. Battle Mecha Godzilla with Proton Scream. Look at that right there. There's the Proton Scream. Let's open it up. All right. So we've got a few other Mecha Godzilla figures that you'll see in a minute, but look at this one. This one is a lot more movable than the other figures that I have. His mouth opens and closes. Check that out. And look at that. This Mecha Godzilla comes with battle damage as well. It's a chest piece that you can put in right in there. And it just clicks in like that. And then you can take it on and off. But I'm excited to try out the Proton Screen. Let's go ahead and attach that. All right, check that out. That is so cool, look how bright that is. That is so cool, this will look great on my shelf. All right, I think I do have one more new figure in here. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, here it is. All right, it's in a camo bag. Let's see what figure it is. All right, another Mecha Godzilla figure. So this one is a little bit bigger than the last figure we saw, but the limbs aren't quite as movable as the other one. This one still looks really cool though. Look how shiny it is. All right, let's check out some of these huge Godzilla and Kong toys. First off, the biggest Mecha Godzilla that we have. Look at the size of this thing. It's like a foot high. And look at the detail that it has too. See those eyes? Look at all that. It looks like metal around, it's like metal teeth right there. That is so cool. And you can open and close his claws, move his legs, and move the tail around too. This Mecha Godzilla is ginormous. All right, let's go for the big King Kong right here. He's holding his ax. Look at this King Kong, he's got the swivel action. And his eyes glow too whenever you move him. That is super cool. And his jaw can open and close a little bit. And there's that button on the back as well if you wanna activate the sound effects. This is a really cool King Kong figure. All right, next up, we've got a giant blue Godzilla. This one's lightweight. I think it is actually hollow. 
But look at all the coloring on this. You've got the blue on the chest and then the black on the sides. And then the spikes on the back are blue and white too. Look at those red eyes. And here is one of my favorite Godzillas out of my entire collection. This is a fire Godzilla. His spikes on the back, they look like actual flames. And his whole body is glowing red. Isn't that so cool? Here is another giant King Kong figure. Arms move up and down and his legs too. This action figure is really cool. You don't want to mess with King Kong in the wild. Let me dig in here. I think we've actually got another giant Godzilla figure in here. Let me see if I can find it. Oh yeah, here it is. This is my biggest Godzilla figure. Look at the length of the tail. Look how tall it is too. And this is painted to look like a real life Godzilla. That is super cool. Look at all that detail on its body. Look at all those bumps for its skin. And I just really like the length of this tail too. This has to be just by itself, maybe like a foot long. That is so cool. Here is another huge King Kong. Look at this one. It's holding a chain in his hand, probably for attacking or defending against dinosaurs and Godzilla. It's got some battle damage on its chest right there. And look at that face. That is one mean looking face. <laughs> This, I believe, is the Godzilla Ultima, the final form of Godzilla. Look at those spikes on its back. Look at this ginormous tail. That could probably knock down an entire building. And look at that face, too. Look at that detail. They painted every single tooth in its mouth. That is so cool. Did you know that Godzilla's biggest weakness is ice? I didn't know that before, but that's super interesting. All right, let's keep pulling these out. Look at this. We've got Big Godzilla and Little Godzilla here, and they're pretty similar in color. Yeah, look at the size difference of these. Do you think that these Godzillas would work together, or do you think that they would fight each other? What do you think? All right, we've got a few more Mecha Godzillas right here, and these ones are a bit different. Check out this one. Look at the rockets on those shoulders. That is massive. This has to be one of the most intimidating looking Mecha Godzillas that I have. Look at all the armor and all the weapons on it. That is so cool. And then look at this little Mecha Godzilla. This is more of a collectible that you put on your shelf because none of the parts move. But look at that. There's still a huge attention to detail. Look at the teeth again. It's like the metal teeth and those glowing red eyes. <laughs> All right, we've got some small King Kongs in here too. Look at this one. This Kong is, has an ax and it's got a little uh, battle damage option on its shoulder too. Let me show you. Oh, there you go. And look at how you can adjust the legs and the arms as well. It's super adjustable and super poseable. Did you know that King Kong first appeared in the movies in 1933? That means he's around 85 years old. That is super cool. All right, what else do we got in here? Ooh, you know what? Here's another one of the really cool action figures that I've got. This is the Gigan figure. And check out the spikes all over the Gigan's body. It's even got spikes on its chest, spikes on its face. I think that's even spikes on its wings right there and on the back of its tail. This is one scary war machine. You do not want to go up in a fight against this one. Oh, you know what? I think I see another brand new figure here. Who could it be? All right, look at this. This is a King Kong collectible figure. Look at the detail. And once again, look at that. A little bit of battle damage on his chest. This is a really cool figure, and it comes with this rock that you can also pose with him. All right, we've got tons more Godzilla figures here. Look at this one. 
It's got the glowing chest. This looks like a younger Godzilla, don't you think? This isn't a fully formed one. I think this is a fire Godzilla too, just like that one that we saw earlier, but it's a little bit different in design. It's not entirely red, but it's got the red or orange spikes and then the red and orange front as well. This is a really cool figure. Ooh, check this out. We've got a little purple Godzilla, but we've also got a big purple Godzilla. Look at that. They almost match perfectly. That is so cool. I think these two look like teammates, don't you think? Or do you think that they would fight each other? Let me know in the comments below. Do you think these Godzillas would team up together? Let's see what else we've got in here. Ooh, we've got some other figures from the Godzilla series. Let's first check out this one. This is the Angurus figure. Did you know that this one was actually friends with Godzilla? <laughs> And we've also got this Rodan figure here. Look at the size of those wings. And we've got a Mothra larva right here. And I think we actually have a Mothra adult form. Oh, here it is. There we go. Larva form and adult right there. That's so cool. And look at the coloring on these wings too. That is beautiful so bright all right we've got a few more king kong and godzilla figures we've got this golden godzilla that is super cool so shiny look at those three rows of spikes right there all right another fire godzilla these are one of my favorites i love the coloring on these things look at that it's got some yellow and orange on the chest and legs and then once again, those awesome orange spikes. That is so cool. And we've got a few more King Kong figures in here too. Look at these. Let's first check out this one. This one can do sound effects. See that big button on its back? Let's go ahead and press it and see what happens. Look at that. Even his mouth moves too. That is super cool. And this King Kong looks like he's been in the snow. I think this is the Arctic Kong. It's got the little bit of battle damage on his chest and you can take off the battle damage on its shoulder too. Look at that, that is super cool. And check these out. We've got some more young Godzillas. I believe this is the second form Godzilla and this is the third form. Let's take a closer look at both of them you can see that neither of them quite have their front arms fully formed yet. And they've got really long tails, and they both got short legs like that. All right, just a few left. Let's check these out. These are all the last Godzilla figures that I have. So we've got this really cool, super adjustable Godzilla figure here. It's like gray and a little bit of like black mixed in. So this guy could really hide in the dark. And then we've got another purple Godzilla right here. Look at those purple spikes. Well, this is a little figure. This fits in the palm of my hand. And finally, we've got this other small Godzilla. Look at the spikes on the shoulders right there. And he's even got like a, a golden crown on his face. I think this is actually the space Godzilla. This one looks super wild and super cool. All right, final two figures of the bin. We've got this Kong figure and the second Kong figure. So let's first look at this one here. It's pretty adjustable. Can swivel him side to side. It's got the battle damage on his chest. But this second King Kong figure, look at that purple on his shoulders and the blue and even on its ax. It's got like that purple glow on it too. And of course, this King Kong has the battle damage on his shoulder as well. There we go, look at that. That is super cool. I love having toys that have little pieces like that where you can change them back and forth. That is super neat.
thanks for joining me today and checking out these awesome Godzilla and King Kong figures. I'll see you next time. Hello and welcome back to the Amazing Dinosaurs channel. I'm super excited to be here with you today. Today we are unboxing this giant bin of dinosaur toys. We've got some new Camp Cretaceous, we've got some new Jurassic World, we've got some King Kong and Godzilla further down in the bin, and so much more. I'm super excited to unbox these with you. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first up, let's go ahead and unbox this Camp Cretaceous figure right here. We got a Scorpios Rex from the Camp Cretaceous. Let's check it out. Wow, so this is a pretty sizable figure, I will say. This is larger than a lot of the ones that we have. All right, so there's two buttons on the top up here. Oh, that's the first one. Check it out. This top button, when you press it, watch what happens. Let's see. Nice, so his mouth opens up, reveals his teeth, and the sound effect of his roar. Very cool, let's check out the second button here. So when you press this button, let's see, is that the slashing action? Oh yeah. And it's got a sound effect for that too. That's pretty vicious. This thing is ginormous. And let's check out the tail too. We've got the tail here with the slashing action too. You wouldn't want to be in the way of that tail. That thing would hurt so much. Wow, all right. You'll want to stay out of the way of this one, that's for sure. All right, let's move on to the next dinosaur. All right, next up, let's do the Jurassic World Tyrannosaurus Rex. Let's check it out. All right, yeah, see, this is cool. You don't see this too often. It's a plastic dino throughout most of it, but the tail is rubber, giving it much more lifelike feel. And it swivels up and down like that. You can already hear those stomp sound effects. Let's hear some more. Very cool. Let's check out this chomping action too. So when you lift them up like this, it locks into place, and then you move the tail upwards, and it comes chomping down. Wow, that's cool. Very cool. And even his neck right here is kind of like rubber too. You can see it kind of like swivels back and forth. Very cool. I'm super excited to add this to our collection. All right, let's move on to the next dinosaur. Okay, let's check out the Camp Cretaceous Tyrannosaurus Rex, Epic Roarin. All right, here we go. Wow, look at that. And look at that darker stripe along its back and then the lighter sides. It's got a lighter belly. It's like, a, I don't know if that's tan or yellow. But let's check out these uh, action moves. So you've got the button on the tail right there. You can, already hear, you can already hear the roaring right there. And then the swivel action. So the tail twists back and forth and a little bit up and down. And as you're doing that, it twists the head at the same time. That's really cool. Because then it gives it a super realistic look. If you're like playing with the dinos, you don't have to have your hand up here. You can have it way back here and it looks super realistic. That's really cool. And let's try out the button too. Let's see how the roar looks. Whoa, that's cool. It's got like some shaking action too when you press the button. When it roars, there's like a battery inside that makes the head roar back and forth while it's roaring. Let's, let's try that out again. And even look inside the mouth, like with the teeth and this tongue right there. Look at that, it's like wiggling back and forth, so when it shakes, the tongue shakes too. That's pretty cool. That's an attention to detail that I really appreciate. And I definitely am enjoying the swiveling head with the tail. That gives it such a cool look that your hands don't have to be close to the head to make it move. Very cool. Let's check out the next dinosaur. 
All right, and over here, we've got the Jurassic World Tyrannosaurus Rex. Wow, another Tyrannosaurus Rex. We're really on a roll today. All right, let's check it out here. So it's got kind of the same coloring as the other one. You can see the darker top and then the lighter sides and then the even lighter, like a yellow tan belly and underside. We've got these massive claws once again. So the tail is actually jointed in multiple spots. I bet that's for when you press the button, it really gives it a good swing. Let's try out the tail first. Wow, look at that swing. And it goes all the way to the side and all the way back. It's spring-loaded. So you can just keep doing this all day. No batteries required. Very cool. And let's see that chomp action with its face too. You ready? Here we go. Ooh, okay. Twist to the side. It closes its mouth and rips it off. Wow, that's really cool. That's a gnarly attack when it's attacking another dinosaur and it's right there. It would grab it and twist it to the side in its attack. That's very vicious. And look at the teeth on this one too. That is a massive set of teeth. Got the yellow eyes. Very cool. I'm liking this one too. All right, let's move on to the next dinosaur. Next up is a smaller dinosaur here. This is the Monolophosaurus. It is a savage strike from the Camp Cretaceous series. It's pretty cool. All right, so here it is. This is interesting coloring, look at that. It's got a lighter gold coloring on the top and then the green sides and a green bottom. Its legs move, it's got those huge claws and its arms move too, they're pretty small. And then look at its face, it's got interesting coloring. It's like a mixture of the red and then the yellow that's also on its back as well. Let's check out that chomping action. Here we go with the tail. Very cool, I'm liking that. It's a smaller dinosaur, but I like that it still has an action that you can do with the toy. Very cool. All right, let's move on to the next dinosaur. All right, and our other new dinosaur here, we've got the Diplodocus, check this out. Mm. It's an interesting, like, uh, semi-flexible rubber feeling. The neck is a little bit flexible, too. And check out the coloring. You've got this, like, red-brown, and then you've got these stripes of green all the way up the neck, too. Check that out. And then got a little bit of yellow on the underbelly and on the legs as well is very cool. There are no moving parts in this one. There's no buttons or anything, but it is somewhat movable. It does have a pretty lifelike feel, I think. Let's check out that face. That's kind of a cute face, you know? Look at those eyes right there. This is pretty cool. This is a, I believe it's a pretty massive dinosaur in real life, the actual size, but this is a very cool model of a dinosaur to have. All right, let's go ahead and check out all these other dinosaurs.
Want to see more dino videos? Click the subscribe button now.